Now we'll move on to the section three of this Bible study. Learn what we learn from the script today. Again, I will go first and Jason will go next. What I learned, I will pick the verse 29. Do not harm against your neighbor. For those who live nearby trust you. Which reminds me a very interesting conversation I heard the other day. Um, I was in this business class and we were learning borrowing and lending on that day. And in, in, while we were talking about lending or how to fund your business, you know, where you can get your money from, there's a few options. You have friends and family, and then you have banks and uh, finance companies, and you have other ways, you know, like investors and, and all that. And the teacher was asking, which would you pick if you need to borrow money? Friends and family or bank and finance company? And I, I said, well, family and friends, and I, the, uh, most of the class, I think all of us who speak out to answer that question said families and friends. But the teacher said, no. Banks and finance company is better. Because you think about it, when you borrowing money from your friends and family, what if it didn't work out, your, your family is go broke and you couldn't repay the money and the relationship is damaged it can be never repaired as we know money it's a very emotional subject and when you bought lending money to the loved one the close one if it didn't work out the relationship will change and which Ties to this verse 29 do not plot harm against your neighbor for those who live nearby trust you so if you if you damage the relationship with friends and family that's pretty hard because you see them every day or you, you see them quite frequently throughout the year but if you damage your relationship with one bank manager or one finance company you can find another one because you didn't know each other you're not close to each other in the first place so the relationship is very thin and it's okay to lose that relationship uh, that's my interpretation from the class on that day and that makes me think this is this verse is has some tight to to that lessons from, from from the business class. Yeah, and that's me. What about you, Jay? So very, very good, very good point of view. It's it and it really makes sense. Uh, I was I was talking to my wife a few days ago about about it. Like uh, sometimes when we are in debt and you have like uh, you are you are you have debt with like uh, uh, bank or, or uh, uh, borrow money company and also you you are you are you have a debt with you are owing money to uh, your friend or some someone of your family we have to keep in, in mind in our priority to pay our friends and family because there will be it will be much harder for them to stay without money then for a bank or a, or a company, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Great, that's it. So yeah, like now, uh, what I what I learned from the, the scripture is like I, I wanna use verses five and six when it says, "Trust in the Lord with all your heart, not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do." and he will show you which path to take. Uh, I said weeks ago that 
I'm not age that I can't make mistakes anymore. But I know that I, I will make mistakes, or so it's it's natural for us when we, we are learning. Uh, especially now that we are with this entrepreneur mind, we are gonna make mistakes. But I I can't make the same mistakes that I did in the past. So and this this versus uh, is showing me that if I if I put Lord, if I put God, Jesus in the front of what I'm doing, so if I ask Him uh, to give me wisdom and also give me the answers that I need to keep doing what I'm doing to be uh, on my business, uh, it says that, that it will be easier for me for, to go to the next step. Uh, I noticed that I have a certain uh, difficulty to make uh, decisions, especially when I have uh, two or three options. So I, I completely get stuck. I don't really know what to do. And I noticed that when I asked God uh, about what to do, so it was so good because he gave me the answer that I needed and I, and I and I didn't feel like that I was doing something wrong. Uh, a couple of days ago, I, I made a very hard decision. And in the end, I was feeling like good. Yeah, I was not like, oh, I did the wrong decision. It was right what I did or not. Because I asked God, God give me what I need. What is the, if what I'm trying to do is the right or not? So, what I learned from it, not only in our spiritual life, in our relationships, but also in our business. If we ask God, if we seek for His will, the things will be better. I'm not saying that the things will be good. I'm not, I'm not saying that we are going to win everything. We are not going to get everything that we want, but our path will be easier because we're gonna have uh, more strategies to keep walking, to keep going forward. If you are listening to this podcast right now and you are facing for any troubles or if any struggles, ask God to give you the answer, to answer your question, to give you the right decision. That for me, it is what I learned.